Something devastating has happened, and again, unconfirmed report that a plane has crashed in Americans, both civilians and service members alike, remember the attacks of September 11, 2001. Some troops remember the day very clearly because they watched it happen firsthand. The train uh, it stopped in the tunnel, and the conductor said, uh, ladies and gentlemen, we have a delay because of an uh, airplane that hit the World Trade Center. His train halted service, and Salazar was forced above ground to Brooklyn's busiest intersection, Atlantic Avenue and Flatbush Avenue. From that intersection, he could see smoke billowing from the Twin Towers. About a half hour after the first tower collapsed, uh, it started to snow. Uh, but it wasn't regular snow. It was a clear day, for one. And as I gathered the snow in my hands, uh, I realized that it was actually pieces of office documents that had blown across the river from the tower collapse. The days following the attacks, he was activated. Salazar recalls how much New Yorkers pulled together to help comfort each other, even in his own encounters. I was in my military uniform heading uh, to volunteer at Ground Zero uh, when a, a girl about 21 years of age came up to me and she held up a picture of her brother and said, have you seen my brother? He was in one of the towers. And I kind of looked at her, I just shook my head, and she started crying. Um, not really knowing what to do, I hugged the girl. And, uh, and then without ever saying a word to her, I just kept walking into the subway. It's still impossible to calculate the number of victims. A stoic response to one of America's biggest tragedies. And even though this warrior is thousands of miles away from home, it will always be in his heart. Petty Officer Eric Holmes, Bagram Airfield, Afghanistan.